Ratio. Headhunters from top tier corporations come to scout out potential hires, so be sure you make a good impression. Unemployment is at an all time high. Don't be like those students whose poor business sense makes them a laughing stock of the upper class. New Phone Reach. Hooray! Our franchise is happy to lend its support. Kanugi Galka's annual festival is incredibly popular. Projected sales of our product is one thing, but the publicity would be huge. Mr. Asano, these are very impressive figures you've drawn up. I believe we have a deal. A pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> what what junior high kid gets a corporate sponsor? No blind spots. E-Class will be blown out of the water. <laughs> Wow, the main campus is really going nuts over this year's festival, huh? The hype is insane, probably because they think we're up to something. Word is Asano made a deal with some big restaurant chain. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past the guy. Then we will go for the jugular. Figuratively, of course. This competition will be decided by skills not assassination related. I really don't want to lose to the A-class jerkwads. But what are we supposed to do? <sighs> Asano has the right idea. This is all about providing something unique. Give people a bargain and you'll draw them in, even on a shoestring budget. Sounds nice, but how are we going to do that? Come now, children. The answers are all around you. Huh? E-Class can give customers a one-of-a-kind bargain. On this, baby! And this! And these! And these! Ingredients that have a lot in common with you! You're all tucked away in the mountains where your value tends to go unnoticed! I get it. We'll hit our customers where they least expect. What a cool idea, an assassination restaurant. In a matter of speaking, yes. Now brandish these secret blades like you're going in for the kill! Don't miss out! Genuine acorn noodles made from genuine acorns! The brand new taste sensation straight from the mountain's natural goodness to your mouth. <laughs> ah, upperclassmen, you know value for money when you see it, but you've never had anything like this. Yeah? Could it seriously be all that? Oh, yes. Come experience the fresh pick taste. Hey, cool place she got here. Uh, the high school thugs from our class trip! What the hell are you doing here? Hey, guys. Huh, come to kidnap another girl? Yeah, cause I'm an idiot. You think I want your freak show of a teacher on my back? No thanks. Of course, I don't gotta get physical to wreck your day. Not at all. I could just start telling everybody your food tastes like crap. Maybe write a bad review online. Come on, bring out the grub, son. Our signature dish, acorn noodles. Oh, this looks great. Uh, hey, Ryuki, <laughs> would I be okay if I get a mug uh, Dude, I gotta try the smoked fish. Pretty please. Knock it off. Your stupid is showing. <laughs> One bite and I'll puke. Only a junior high kid would cook this up. 
<laughs> it's delicious! Originally, we were going to do a more impressive reaction shot. But sadly, there's already another cooking anime that's called dibs on that. Do what? Not bad, right? I spent like a solid week researching and refining the recipe. The noodles are made from acorns, thickened with grated yam. The flavor was super earthy, though, so I went with a rich dipping broth. Turned out to be the perfect balance. It was hard work, let me tell ya. But the end product is tonkotsu soy sauce acorn noodles fit for a king. <laughs> no kidding. I ain't never tasted nothing like it. For Muramatsu, it's kind of a miracle. Well, so much for blandness being a selling point. Hey! Itsuna! Shut up and get back to work! Whoa, this stuff is the bomb! We should try everything! <laughs> Let's do the Slender Caesar Mushroom next! It's We're awesome. supposed to say it tastes like crap, dumbasses! Oh, oh dear. Oh, you boys don't like any of the food my students have prepared for you? What a party! No, no, it's amazing! Really? Then might I recommend the persimmon loquat gelatin? The texture is as soft as my skin. Yes, ma'am! And why stop there? Try the whole menu! It would make me so very happy. <laughs> I need more cash. There's an ATM at the station. You can pull out all the cash you need. <laughs> be right back! Okay, I'll be waiting. Not ideal, but I guess it's a start. Yada's at the bottom of the mountain drawing in customers, and Professor Bitch is at the top. That's a sharp combo right there. With Sugiya's beautiful signage, Okajima's superb food photography, Hazama's mouth-watering menu descriptions, and Mimura's sleek website design, we have everything we need to pique our customers' interest. Remember, it's only day one. The battle is just getting started. If my recon is correct, A-Class is better at pulling in customers. Welcome to our school festival debut! Oh, hey, Asuna! Hello, glad you could come. Now you ladies enjoy yourselves. We have events every hour on the hour. My idol singer friends and some comedians I know are performing for free. The cover charge includes unlimited food and drinks. When whatever's playing on one side of the stage ends, the next show begins immediately on the flip side. The entrance fee is only good for half the performance space, so people will keep going around, shelling out their hard-earned cash for each new act. Before long, their stomachs will be full and E-Class high and dry. Right, gentlemen, let's do this. I'll start hammering out a few power riffs. You guys get ready. No, seriously, is there anything he can't do? I know. To be honest, it's rather disgusting how good he is. He's good. But remember, he's not infallible. Well, he sure isn't going to lose to E-Class, I guarantee you that. That'd be a nice change of pace. I'm sick of seeing our leader get his butt kicked by those friggin' nobodies. He's not the only chosen one at this school. I mean, after all, we learned our instruments between study sessions, too. What do you say we get out there and back him up? Yeah! This place. Right there in. you are, Nagisa! Huh? Look who I've got in tow! Hey, Sakura! You brought Mr. Matsukata in the gang! <laughs> That's sweet, Nagisa. You kept in touch. Yeah, I help her study sometimes. I had to show up. When your personal tutor asks you to try out their restaurant, you really don't have a choice. Good business strategy. With this bunch, we'll make bank on volume alone. Sorry we don't have deeper pockets, but we're here. Oh, oh my now, this is superb! Something so tasty is bound to sell out before long. It's been kind of a struggle, actually. Cooking it is one thing. Getting the word out there is another. Really? I wouldn't worry too much, though. You guys have, like, this mysterious power, you know? Of course. Keep doing what you do and word will get out. Let your customer base find you. <sighs> Thanks again! Bye. Come along now, Sakura. Huh. Keep doing what we do and word will get out. It'd be great if people started talking. We just have to be patient. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I, uh, heard all about your mom. And why your hair's long. I'm sorry I teased you so much. Honestly, I never meant to hurt your feelings, Nagisa. No, no. We're all good. I can take a little ribbing from you and Karma. It's no big deal. Oh, good. But I'll go a little easier on you from here on out. What's up? <laughs> oh, crap. I know that voice. 
Nagisa! Long time no see! No! No, not Yuji! Do you know him? Oh, wait. That guy from summer vacation. The one who thought you were a chicken totally had a thing for you. How... how do you find out where he went to school? It was easy. I just looked up the island's guest registry. Uh, I've kind of been stalking you online, and I saw the big autumn festival. Um, okay. Hey, Nakamura! What the... Stop! Okay, I promise, this is the last time for real. We just had a conversation about this! The kid is loaded, isn't he? So come on, don't be shy. We have to raise our custom ravage any way we can. Take one for the team, Nagisa! Like it or not, the fate of this enterprise rests on your skills as a <laughs> Man, did I pick the right time to come or what? Pretty lucky I got you as a waitress, huh? Yeah, great spot, too. Thanks for bringing me here. I'm loving the privacy. And I'm loving the fact that no one else can see us. Huh? Cue cards? Really? So, um, you know what I want? I, uh, want you to eat all of my favorites! Sure thing, babe! Just ask and I'll get everything on the menu! <laughs> this idiot's a total gold mine! And a big eater! Rake in the cash, Nagisa. Did I tell you I stopped smoking those sketchy cigarettes? You were so worried about me, it got me thinking. Uh, here we go. Ooh, this looks amazing. Let me get a pick. I feel bad about it, but if I don't keep it up, things will get more awkward than they already are. <laughs> okay, that is definitely crossing a line. Hey, brought you a gift, Karasuma. <laughs> Colors up here are breathtaking. I heard some rumors that the Reaper took you out. He tried. It was rough there for a while. But hey, I ain't no spring chicken. I'm gonna need you to conceal that gun. Who the heck is that? Is he packing? Want me to call the police? Whoa, whoa! It's okay, uh, we know this guy. He's Mr. Yoshioka from the local hunt club. Yoshioka? What kind of name is that for a foreigner? Oh, he changed his name. Big anime fan. Oh, guess that makes sense. Uh, well, enough about this Yoshioka dude or whatever. Nagisa, can... can I, like, ask you what you think? <laughs> Lovro, the octopus extended invitation. Yes, of course. I'm just glad to see you're still alive. Your protege's been worried. You should talk to her. Indeed. What? What's with the creepy old dude? He stepped out of a horror movie? He's Mr. Mild Yagyu. He's kind of a big deal on the Asakusa theater scene. That guy's a comedian? He and Mr. K were talking about a, uh, a bit, yeah. His protege used to be on the circuit, but retired and became a teacher. Mm -hmm. oh My guy's never tasted so good. Oh, wow. I wouldn't turn down a bowl of this stuff, even if it were poison. Fellow comedians from Asakusa! <laughs> The one eating wasabi Mont Blanc is building up his tolerance for an extreme eating sketch. What can I tell you, huh? We get to know all sorts of people. Give it a rest. Huh? I can tell you're lying. <clears throat> My old man's a big name in the industry. I've been seeing burnouts and wannabes suck up to him since I was a little kid. I know a front when I see one. I can spot phonies from a mile away. The girl I met on the island... Let's just say a fake smile doesn't suit her. You got me there. Some talent, Yuji. If you want to use that word, not a lot of good about the baggage you take from a skeevy childhood. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. It's not your fault. I've essentially looked like this ever since I was a little boy. It's kind of a pain. Little boy? Lately, I have learned that even a talent you're ashamed of can be a source of confidence if you use it to help someone else. So I'm starting to make peace with how girly I look. I'm a guy, is the point I'm trying to get across here. Well, that's another lie. No. Well, that's another lie. It's not, I promise. Show him the goods already! What?! Look at me and say this is the face of a liar. This is for real? From the right angle, our flaws can be weapons. If I've learned nothing else from this classroom, it's that. It's what we do. It's how this cafe came together. 
It's what brought everyone here today. What made us a part of so many people's lives. This may sound weird, but the thrill is out of this world. Hey, hold on! I'm sorry I tricked you! Here, I'll give you your money back! Whatever. I just... I feel like a total idiot is all. Peace out. What? Aw, oh, why is he leaving? I was gonna see what he'd be willing to pay for a cosplay shoot. Exactly how much money do you expect to make off me? Sorry, Yuji. Bad move on my part. Hmm. <sighs> well, I suppose our first day went sort of okay. I posted the sales report earlier. Honestly, at this rate, we don't have a snowball's chance in hell of catching up to A-Class. <sighs> Pick up the pace! We'll miss the morning broadcast! Mm -hmm. Is that a TV crew? I don't get it. What are they covering? The only thing up there is the E-Class building. <laughs> what the hell? Uh -huh. Look, you guys! Somebody posted an online review that's spreading like wildfire! I did a little digging to try and track down the source, and you'll never believe this. It's by Yuji Norita, who happens to be, wait for it, the biggest name in the food blogosphere. Since he grew up rich, he's tried everything from caviar to crocodile. So the boy's palate, annoyingly enough, is highly developed. He's got a money as no object, I'll try anything approach. People love it. Okay, then. Of all the places to find great food, you wouldn't think a school festival would be one of them. But let me tell you, this place was out of this world. The menu changed my whole outlook. Sustainable, organic, they've turned a poor location into a big advantage. From the right angle, our flaws can be weapons. Those words came from a buddy of mine who works there. When I heard them, I thought to myself, wow, I've been so spoiled all my life. Living in the shadow of my big shot dad. The privilege I've grown up in, that's my weapon. I can use it to help people, which is exactly what I'm trying to do with this block. Trust me, you've only got one more day, so cut a beeline up that mountain now. You won't be disappointed. Taste it while you can, and it'll change your life. After that, we ran ourselves ragged. With every new order, we foraged, cooked, served, and sold. Just about everybody we knew showed up. People from school, people from other places, everybody. sold a heck of a lot more than I thought we would. Doesn't change the fact that A-Class will have made more revenue. It's okay. The side menu items have been selling like crazy, too. I say in the time we've got left, we should just stick with them. We can go a little deeper into the forest if we need. Pat our ingredient reserves? Hmm. <gasps> no, I think it best to stop here. But, sir, if we do that, we won't win. Perfectly all right. Any more foraging and we run the risk of upsetting the mountain's delicate ecosystem. Mm. We're all interconnected. Every action resonates through the web of life. Can you feel it, boys and girls? The intricate bonds of shared fate, of lives that have been touched. People who've taught you, people you've helped, people who've caused you trouble, people you've caused trouble for, unlikely friendships, bitter rivalries. We're all part of one another. Aha, uh -huh. so today was just another lesson all along. <laughs> oh man, and I really wanted to win this thing. Oh, I'm very sorry. We're all sold out. Really? Well, you are popular. Uh, Mom. Here you go, our last Crimson Glory Vine juice. It's good. Thank you. I have to say, this class is really something. I can see why you're passionate about staying. Yep. So, uh, about all the unpleasantness the other evening... Looking back at it now, I knew. My boy's grown up. He's ready to cut the apron strings. That business about graduating from me, you meant every word. I don't know where you found the strength to say it, but somewhere along the way, you got tough. Just please, for right now, huh? stay with me a little longer till you're of age. That's all I'm asking. The world will be yours soon enough. 
not ready to let go of my baby just yet, Nagisa. Whatever else I may be, I'm still your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Every connection we encounter in this world teaches us a little something about ourselves. Aw, oh, come on! I say why not let today be your birthday? The connection we had. Am I doing right by what it taught me? Hey, you? Nagisa's mother just apologized to me. Apparently she tried to start a fire. Oh, that! Water under the bridge! Good enough. Now maybe you can explain what she whispered in my ear. She promised she would keep my toupee a secret! What does that mean? <laughs> A-Class is amazing! They even beat out the high schoolers! Well, it is Asano. Yeah, but check out E-Class. They managed to come in third. And that's after shutting down halfway through the second day. If you ask me, that's an even bigger accomplishment. So did you actually visit? After all the hype they were getting on TV? How could I not? I don't get it, man. I thought being in Class E was supposed to be punishment. But they're all, like, doing really well for themselves. I'm actually a little bit jealous. 